Yeah, baby, let's go, boys. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> look, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And do I have some good news for you? So, you want mythic weapon. You're like, oh my god, Aiden, you've told me how to get my power level up. You told me how to get to Twine Peaks. But what's next? Mythic Storm King. Mythic weapons, the most sought after weapons in this game. And well, today I'll be showing you exactly how to get them. So, fortunately for me, you can see on the wall here that I have my mythic schematics. You're like, Aiden, didn't you lose your main account? Yes. I lost my main account that has the Nocturno schematic, the Founders Edition, the most OG account, my very first account, I've lost it. I, Epic Games doesn't even consider it linked to their website anymore. But I, I, if you're new to this channel, I've played through this game a multitude of times and uh, I do have lots of accounts and I managed to find an old email address where uh, this account is actually power level 125 and ready for the MSK. So. Right, well, first off, I actually just want to double check on everything we got. Um, llama store, we got weapon llamas. We do have a bunch of llamas here. Um, we could do that in a different video another time. Just open up some spare llamas. I've got 48 mini llamas sitting there. I've got a little bit of gold. Very nice, very nice, looking all good. I actually, um, when I loaded into this account, I purchased the plasmatic discharger. Um, just to realize that I already had the plasma discharger on this account fully maxed out. So now I've got two plasma boy schematics, <laughs> which is fantastic. And look, the jackal launcher, I have it on this account, so it's not all doom and gloom. But uh, yeah, as we can see, look, these are the mythic weapons. Now, these are the ones that people are they're trying to get their hands on because they are the only mythic weapons in the game and they can only be obtained via defeating the mythic Storm King. So we have the Storm King's Wrath. This is the rocket launcher. This is probably the best weapon you can get from the MSK because of how good it is. And once you get it, it makes defeating the MSK itself even easier. You've got the Storm King's Scourge. This is the Assault Rifle. Then you've got the Storm King's Fury, which again is actually another fantastic weapon to get from the Storm King because this weapon is also very good at helping you defeat the MSK. Uh, we do have the pistol here, which is uh, its actually a really good pistol. It's, it, it's, it, I, I, I don't know how to say anything more about it, but then you have the Storm King's Ravager, which is a very nice sword, actually, very unique. I think those are the five schematics. I'm pretty sure it's just the two melees and three weapons. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else unless they've slipped something in there. Look, got another spare Storm King schematic. Oh, zippity doo -dah. But uh, right, let's talk about how we can defeat the Mythic Storm King. Now, first off, you do need to be power level 123, as well as have beaten Twine Peaks. Oh, you need to have beaten Twine Peaks SSD 6, I believe. So Twine Peaks SSD 6, once you've done that, and you've got a power level of 123, 122, it's one of those. I'm sure the comments will just uh, make sure it's double correct the mundo. Then you would have unlocked the portal. Now, this bad boy, oops, um, okay, no match is available, that's fine right now, because we're not going to go right into it, but we are going to, I'm going to take you through the Mythic Storm King. So, this bad boy, you're going to get a flavor for him if, if you played through the Candy Valley story and you had the Storm King, you, you actually play in Candy Valley, and what you do is you actually have a fight with the Storm King uh, here. So, this is the portal to the Normie Storm King, level 70. He's a lot easier, has less, he has less mechanics and obviously a lot lower of a level. I'm pretty sure you only get this mission though if you do the Candy Valley story. I'm not sure if you just level up that this mission appears, but I might be wrong. But yeah, that's a taster for the Storm King. But once you've done everything and you've unlocked the MSK, this is where things get a little bit tasty. So for the MSK, there is quite a lot when it comes to your builds and the weapons you're going to use. This is by far my favorite build for the MSK, especially if you're new because you have a ninja, which means you can jump around, you're quite versatile, and you can get about quite easily. We've got totally rocking out with Battle Beat and Sub Wafers. Now you need Sub Wafers in this build because she is one where you basically destroy metal and there's a chance you get these wafers and then you can consume the wafers and it grants rock and riff. You're gonna need this at the horn stage and I will showcase this when we go and destroy him. Logged and reloaded, so whenever we reload our weapon, then we get additional damage. So this is gonna be good because we're gonna be using the pot shot. 
This is also faster explosions. Now we're going to be using the pod shot, the plasmatic discharger. So these two launchers are going to get a massive buff of damage as well as the mythic launcher for taking down crystals. Hardware crit rating because on the horn we want to be hitting them at crit crits because obviously the more damage coming in the more wonderful as usual. And I like to use crit rating because I actually go with a... A build that some people don't like, but th there is a, a triple crit damage here on the Storm King's Fury. Some people might play with one crit rating, but I like to go for three crit damage to really smack that boy up. And I can already hear you saying, but Aiden, I don't have the mythic schematics, I'm trying to get them. Yes, don't worry. I will pin the linked comment, uh, which will be the Storm King's budget build, which will showcase weapons that you can use to defeat the mythic Storm King that you can get from the collection book for just flux. So you want to get your flux here from the old fashioned store and then once you've got that you head on to the collection book and in the video that i will put in the pinned comment you can see the weapons that i buy from this collection book and use at the msk to defeat him with no use of mythic weapons now if you don't have lynx cassandra and stuff like this what you can do is you can go to ventures and get level 20 and you will get a weapons voucher as well as a heroes voucher so you can pick her up i'm not sure her rotation in the store but obviously She's not around at the moment, so there's, you know, you would just use a voucher on her. But if I can find it. Oh, okay. Sadly, I don't actually have it on this account, but um, you can use a soldier. Now, the soldier is a lot more difficult to use because you can't be jumping around willy nilly. But I am looking for war cry specialist um, because she gives a buff where obviously you get increased damage and it's very, very useful. The likelihood is if we jump into a game, we will be seeing some better players using them. Uh, but the easiest way to do it is with the Lynx Cassandra. Normally three ninjas, one soldier is the meta, I would say. Two soldiers may be even better though. But uh, this is the build we're going for. We're also going to be using Slowfield and Adrenaline Rush. Slowfield is a uh, maybe if because what you can do is you can just use it in situations. If a teammate goes down, I pop the slow shield, uh, the slow field so that I can revive them. And if anything comes in and attacks me, I, I'm all right for a little bit because it's nice and slow. Adrenaline rush is huge, all right, because this, when fully maxed out, can res teammates. Now, I think this one is uh, completely maxed. Yep, so as you can see, restores health and also uh, gives you like an additional like regenerative health as well as revive downed allies. And this is super clutch if your team goes down and you should try and savor onto this as much as possible. Don't go spamming it down. It's like whenever you lose a little bit of health because also what you can do is you can use some healing pads. I've only got 18 on me. I'm probably going to just sort out this schematic at some point but yeah healing amount just a full healing amount and healing pads you just spam them down on the floor if you want to get some health back so you don't need them sometimes your teammates will but if you do have them you can pop a couple around the map and it's going to help you and your team all right now to search for a game i am gonna have to work my magic aka activate the vpn okay go go gadget vpn activated hopefully they don't ban me just looking at these uh missions here right now very nice now now i have access to this account as well what i could do is i could show you okay look at this look at this 132 um is there any with like a mission alert no but like what i could do is on this account i could invite my other low level account and just load into this rescue the survivors solo it on this account that i'm on now and the other because you only need to save like a few survivors so you can pretty much like get like the minimum survivors you need to complete the mission and then just afk the rest of it but you sometimes it kicks you even in private match which is really fucking annoying to be honest with me but um yeah uh, i might showcase that method later on but obviously that's only if you have a high level account or a high level friend really still still we don't have uh goddamn come on come on guys it's, uh, joining existing suggestion yeah that's what i want all right well i'll bring you back once we find a game all right, we are in. I, I haven't done MSK in a long time, but we're going to destroy these, these metal pieces, and then we're going to sort out our build. Okay, got some material. Brick is a best in here because it has the best build time per HP for the MSK area. My sensitivity is so quick, though. Oh, my goodness. Right, hopefully... Oh, is it, no, there is four of us. All right. Well, uh, we are going to send it then. Oh my, I haven't done MSK in a long time. This is going to be funky, baby. Right, here we go. Now, I've got tons of MSK videos. Oh. 
Look at them shots. The audacity, right? I need to change my sensitivity. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, bro, what is this? Right, let's bring let's bring it down to four. I'm I'm too old for this. Right, here we go. Right, we are going to use Lynx Cassandra and do this type of damage. Boom. Oh my goodness, bro. The audacity of this man. Just a little jump there. As you can see, this is why Ninja is so good. Because you can literally mince around like a lunatic. Okay, we've got Meteorites now. Just get some ground. Back over to here. Right, where is it? It's the Chesticles. We see it. We see it. We're going to try and... Oh my goodness, there we go. Look at them snipes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, make sure we're all reloaded on the pot shot for the next mini boss. Okay, we're looking all good. And then pop a couple of these around on the floor. You know, make sure if we need them, they're there. Next crystal, where is it? It's on the obliques over here. Team has got it, good stuff. All right, team seems pretty good right now. Uh, we don't have a soldier though. Okay, where is that bad boy? No! No! Storm King, no! That, what are you doing, man? Right. You want to get rid of the mini boss. Is that coming towards me? You want to get rid of the mini boss, because whilst he's alive, you can see that this uh, shield here is slowly getting closer to us, which you really don't want, because that is going to ruin your entire game. Basically a wipe, if you don't get rid of him as soon as possible. My man's got a Xenon bow! We need to carry him to victory. Okay, and then we do... Oh my goodness, I'm down, bro. I'm trying to get to my healing pad. Getting sniped by these little gangolian cysts over here. Pixel build. Legend. Legend status acquired. Right, I think we are one crystal off. Right, good, good. Right, also, you take damage in the water, so you want to try and avoid that. Right. Okay, okay, my right, team is here. Right, they are alive. Where is he falling? Oh, baby, he's still got it. Right, what we're going to do is munch on this and then just start working away. Eat that and then bang. Come on, we need them crits. We need the crits. That is not enough damage right now. Did we even get the horn? We didn't even get the horn. That's game, set, and match. That is the most disgusting. Bro, I was at the horn from the very second it stopped... This is why a soldier with Warcry is so good at MSK. Oh! Alright, we need to resend it. I'll bring you back once we uh, make progress to the horn. If you're wondering why I left, when you don't destroy the horn, the game's gonna end anyway. The, sh the storm shrinks in and it's game over anyway. So you're better off leaving, otherwise you have to sit there through the whole losing screen. It just takes longer. Versus if you foul the horn, back out, research is gonna make for a much quicker scenario. Because I see people asking, Aiden, why'd you leave? And I'm like, well, that's why. Destroy one of the horns. We've actually got a soldier, which makes life so much easier as well. So <laughs> I've just been like sweating it out, concentrated. I, <laughs> I completely forgot to talk. Um, all right, so we have just a couple more crystals and then we will have the next horn phase Grab that heal there Very nice. I do have like a pretty on-point team though extra sweat extra bow jangles Okay, let's just get these pot shots. This is where the pot shot shines, right? Let's get rid of that guy as well. He can cause a bit of carnage He's looking directly at me. We're going to move away. Soul Takers, we definitely don't want them running amok on us. They do big damage. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay, and rid of that Blaster. What do we say? I think we're one crystal off the second horn phase. Two horn phases. Um, okay, he's going to destroy everything. So let's just go get somewhere safe. Ground level. When he does that burst, it basically destroys. Oh, we are... Right, okay, that teammate. I was going to say, that is a soldier. We need to risk our lives to save them. Um, oh my goodness. All right, how we looking? We're looking all right. We got the healing pads around the map. Team is on point. Okay, good. Right, he's going to fall over to his... Uh, somewhere over here. There we go. We are in the vicinity. Okay, we are going to do that. 
Oh, we're a little bit high. That is why I want the roof. But as you can see, baby, look at that damage. Right, we want to equip a plasmatic discharger. You could be a little bit quicker than I am right now. Here we go. Let's just pop a couple of these then. Send a couple more. I would love to. There we go. Plasma discharges coming out for the DPS check. Just give my team a full heal there. You can actually die to the meteors here. Yeah, baby. Let's go, boys. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> whoop, whoop. GG's, lads. And there we go. That is an MSK dub dub team coming in. Oh my goodness, what is this damage? I'm pretty sure they focused on the crystal. I focused on the annoying mobs. I come in there and uh, obviously, like, honestly, bros, like the, the, the plasmatic discharge of the pot shot, these weapons are just so freaking OP. And those two weapons, plasmatic discharge, like I said, in store, pot shot, flux in. Oh, wonderful. Now, I, I do think the whole team there have mythic launchers, which makes the crystals a lot easier. I'm not going to lie. But a lot of people do run the mythic Storm King with these uh these weapons anyway a lot of people just keep running them anyway because it is fun content all right now what you're gonna see is i won't actually be receiving a mythic weapon this time round from the msk and i'm going to explain why if um there are a few lunatics that saw the beginning of this video and like, oh msk all right i'm gonna do that and then they kill it finally and they don't get a mythic weapon it's because they didn't watch until this far into the video so you're smart you're stuck around and i'm gonna reveal my trick of deception <laughs> it's it's so evil right so what you want to do is you actually have a weekly quest once you unlock the mythic storm king you're gonna have this scions of the storm king and you have to complete this weekly scion. So eliminate 300 elementals in successful missions in a 140 mission. So if I go and kill 300 elemental husks in normal missions in 140 plus zones, once I've completed this, that's when I can go and defeat the Mythic Storm King and he will drop a Mythic Cache, which will give you one of the five Mythic Weapons. Now, um, at this point, obviously, I don't need Mythic Weapons. I just do it for the LOLs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. But that is the method to get in through to the MSK. Now, like I said, I have lots of Mythic videos, how to beat the Storm King, some more in-depth videos. But this one, newer date, just letting you all know how the vibes be. I haven't done MSK in however long, like a really long time. And that was the second attempt there. And we came in with the W. As you saw, the the not the constructor, but the soldier with the war cry really does help. And the combination of hang time with just all my damage build and what this is. This is pretty much the meta ninja build. For the msk i really could not think of anything else to go over but ladies and gentlemen i hope this helped you out best of luck with your mythics if you're looking for a team comment down below your names you can add each other or play give each other a loadouts and etc and uh yeah have a wonderful time best of luck and i will see you all in the next one adios